What's up, guys? I hope you're all well. Today, we're checking out not the 9 o'clock news in the courtroom. Ooh, this make it juicy. Let's get into it. And at what time did you leave the hospital, Mrs. Pinterman? About 10.30. Thank you, Mrs. Pinterman. Mrs. Pinterman! I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I believe you told us yesterday that after leaving the hospital on the night in question, you went straight to Christian. home. Yes. Did anyone see you entering your house? No. My lad, there is one thing very vital lacking from Mrs. Pinterman's account so far, and that is the alibi. <laughs> what? The alibi. It's a crucial matter in this case. The alibi is what we're looking for. So where is the alibi? What is the alibi? Yes, Mr. Davis, perhaps you'd like to explain to the court the precise meaning of this word. Yes, please. The alibi, my lord, is defined as being a plea that when an act took place, one was elsewhere. Ah. Oh, oh, an alibi. Is that what you mean, Mr. Davis? Malad, are we going Alibi, to leave the discrepancies to tell the facts? <laughs> the facts are no one saw Mrs. Pinterman entering her house, and ultimately she has no alibi. She has no alibi. Ah, even my learned counsel for the defense admits it. <laughs> His client is guilty. What are you talking about? Oh, Guilt? Man. Guilt. <laughs> have any identities in doubt. Mrs. Pinterman, have you or have you not in the past gone under an alias? Alias? <laughs> have you used an alias, my lad? The question is crucial. But we don't understand the question. <laughs> what is an alias? An alias? An alias? I can scarcely believe my ears. It's a common enough legal term. I've never heard of it. You're allowed to say any number of standard reference works. Goldsmith, Armitage in Berlin, Teach Yourself Law, Book 4. The Open University Criminology Course, Part 1. The Perry Mason Book for Boys, 1962. <laughs> An alias is defined as the assumption of an alternative identity for nefarious purposes. Nefarious purposes? Precisely, my love. <laughs> we have heard it all egged. Alleged. All egged that this woman <laughs> on that Spouse. fatal night. Fatal night. But I submit <laughs> she is little more than a common public nuisance. Nuisance. And her whole testimony is little more than a tissue of life. A tissue, a tissue. Yes, my love. <laughs> As the bard put it, hell hath no furry like a woman scrawled. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Quiet. This case has been one of the most difficult and embarrassing of my long career. <laughs> you are yeah. an evil and malicious young trollop who has willfully committed an evil crime, and yet you have come to this court and without any consideration forced this unfortunate young man to behave like a cross between a human vegetable and Ronnie Barker. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Who wantonly thrusts herself upon men for sexual fantasy wherever you may find them. Perhaps you'd like to join me for lunch. <laughs> I was thinking Ronnie Barker the whole time with the wordplay. I'm like the word mixing up and stuff. I love that a lot. I love wordplay. <clears throat> As an English literature major and a librarian. Yes, I love wordplay. A lot of fun. Great episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe. And don't forget your alibi. 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 <laughs> Bye.